Coming up, you're going to discover the biggest, most impactful changes coming up in the App Store for iOS 11 that will have a dramatic impact on ASO. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co. You know, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to the app marketing business space with things that are happening right now, with strategies that are working today. Today, I want to cover the things that are happening from an ASO perspective and that are changing, especially with Apple's recent announcement of iOS 11 and how that impacts app store optimization. There's some tremendous, huge changes that are coming up. And I'm going to highlight just a few important ones that we've seen from our clients that I think will be the most impactful to you and helping you increase your downloads. So without further ado, let's go into the slideshow. Full disclosure, guys, this is a presentation that the guys from ASO Stack, asostack.com put together. It is a full blown presentation on all the different changes from an ASO perspective. So they, they've done a really tremendous job. And if you want to check out the full presentation, I'm going to link it up. Go to appmasters.co ASO 11. That is appmasters.co ASO 11. Okay. That's ASO 11. And you'll get to the full presentation that these guys really put together. Tremendous, tremendous stuff. I've actually distilled and take taken out some of the other parts that I didn't think were impactful for ASO and just sort of highlight it. Now, I was going to create my own, but they've done such a beautiful job that I just was like, hey, why don't I use their stuff? So make sure you check it out, asostack.com. This is their presentation. I've just distilled some of the most important parts. All right, let's get to it. So these are the guys. I think this is an ASO agency as well. So they, they do a lot of cool stuff. It's Fitcher, I think I'm saying that right, .com, Fitcher.com is I think the, the website, but that, that'll be linked up in the show notes too, so you guys can check it out. But these are the guys behind this presentation. So I wanted to make sure you knew that it wasn't me that put this presentation out. I'm just taking bits and pieces of it that I think are the most valuable. All right, here we go. So from an ASO perspective, a lot of huge changes. I think, you know, as you saw last year, Apple really caught on to the fact that we were spamming the app name and they shortened the they shortened the app name to 50 characters. Now with iOS 11 coming out, probably in September, it's gonna go down to 30 characters. 30 characters is the app name. They added a brand new subtitle with 30 characters as well. And that's being indexed. And it's actually available right now if you guys wanna start using it, but that's gonna be indexed as well. So 30 characters, 30 characters, you sort of have now 60 characters to play with, but the app name, Obviously, Apple wants it to be really short, so it's only 30 characters available for the app name. The keywords are still the same. It's 100 characters still being indexed. Now the in-app purchases are being indexed. I believe they were already always indexed, but officially now, being according to Apple, they're, they're being indexed. The description, for the longest time, it hasn't been indexed, but we believe that now they're going to start indexing, and I'll get to that a little bit later. And then primary, secondary, category, index, promotional text, new field, not index. Okay. So that's just a brief summary of that. The key important things is the title is now going down to 30 characters. And now there's a subtitle that you can start using today, today, subtitle field that's available. That's also being indexed. Okay. So right now, as you can see, this is the app name. It's going down from 50 to 30. And as you can see, the, the whole search result is changing. So this is the app right now that you're seeing and you're starting to see where the subtitle is. Here, I'm gonna throw up my, my, my mouse right here. This is where the subtitle is gonna be. So you can then put in some of your keywords that you wanna target into your subtitle. Funny enough, Google actually went from 30 characters to 50 characters for their app name when Apple went to up down to 30. It's pretty funny. But anyways, just, just so you know that it's now down to 30, so you really, with 30 characters, you only really have enough room for your app name and possibly one more word. So Apple's really cracking down on the whole spamming app name thing. So really be careful with that. 
but you still have subtitle that you can play around with. And we're playing around with that a lot for our clients and seeing pretty good results with the subtitle. Okay, so here's a new app subtitle. As you can see, index, 30 characters. You can start using it today. It appears right below the app store name and it's a great way. Now you can't see it with iOS 10 that you currently have unless you've upgraded upgrade to iOS 11, but it is indexed right now for iOS 10. So it's being indexed if you're using it, but you, so you don't have to wait, but your users will never see the subtitle. Hope that makes sense. Okay, there's this new promotional text field that's up to this promotional text field is a new field that can be changed without an update. So that's sort of like a description right now. And it's limited, you can, you can read through this as well. So I won't read it to you, but it's at the top of the description, it's limited to 170 characters. So if you run my favorite campaign, the pay to free campaign, then you can then say like, hey, you know, remove ads is currently free, check us out check us out right now. So you can add those little things in there. Or if you're giving a discount on your description or subscription, you can add those promotional text fields right now. It's not indexed. So it doesn't matter if you put keywords in there or not, but it's just for things that are changing within your app that you want to highlight to potential customers. And this might be valuable if you're running Apple search ads, right? So because Apple search ads, you don't you can't have text, right? You don't control much. You just say, here are the keywords I want to bid on and Apple just shows your, your stuff, your screenshots, your app icons, so forth. So having this promotional text, when people click through, make it more engaging to get people to actually convert when they click, when they tap on your app to actually convert and download your particular app, right? So I would, that's how I would use it, promotional text. The description, I won't go through it so much. I think the, the few things that you have to realize here, the most important part is you can only now, because before, right now, as of this recording, iOS 10, you can update your description anytime you want. You don't need to submit a new build. But Apple's now saying you need to submit a new build to update your description. Now, we're only sort of hypothesizing here, but that could possibly mean that the app description is going to be indexed by Apple. We don't know yet for sure. We'll probably run a bunch of tests on our end too, but likely since they're making this change that it's going to be indexed, the app store description. Okay. The other thing that you got to know is in-app purchases. One, you can actually see in-app purchases in search results. And then two, you can have a maximum 20 items displayed and they will actually be indexed by the app store. So, you know, come up with clever in-app purchase names moving forward so that you can actually be indexed. So if you have certain phrases that you're targeting, I would probably rename my in-app purchases targeting those particular phrases from an ASO perspective. Okay, so here's the search results. It's moving away, as you can see, you know, it's a lot cooler. I think the things that I wanna highlight is now you're gonna see overall reviews, you're gonna see the the subtitle as well. So have a catchy su subtitle. And then the, the in-app purchases are now going to be in the, are going to start appearing in the search results. So as you can see, this, this is right here, the in-app purchase, they're going to start appearing for it as well. So those are the most, the biggest highlights from a search perspective. They haven't changed much. You remember the, I think it was iOS eight or something like it feels like years ago, but you saw a ton of different apps and now they've shrunk in that, which really sucks for us because it went from really like eight search results to now really two search results. But so it's, they put an emphasis on being in the top two or three, but right now that hasn't changed. It's just more things within your app are now being indexed by Apple. And they're highlighting a few different things like the, the subtitle and the in-app purchases. All right, this is the cool part about in-app purchases now. So the name is actually indexed. You're limited to 30 characters and you have a description for your in-app purchase. And we're not sure if it's gonna be indexed, but definitely the name, the phrase, the exact match is gonna be indexed. So let's say from an ASO perspective, if I'm targeting a certain keyword phrase, let's, oh, here, here's a good example, just because the movie came out and I'm a big fan of The Rock. But let's say I have a Baywatch stickers app for example, and then one of the in-app purchases in there is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. So rather than saying, you know, the character or whatever it is, I might put Dwayne Johnson stickers because I'm targeting Dwayne Johnson phrase because I know that it has 
good traffic scores and low difficulty. So that's how I would play around with the in-app purchase names and try to optimize for that. Okay, this is the other cool part. The ratings, currently they showed only the latest version, right? As you can see with what they've, as you can see on the screen, 8-Fit, they, they don't show any reviews because their current version has none. But now Apple is gonna show all the reviews overall, all the time. They won't reset it every single version, which is phenomenal. Thank you, Apple. Thank you for doing this because people, you know, it hurts. It hurts as an indie because you're reliant on reviews and it impacts actual ASO rankings too. So most of the indies right now, they would wait because they want their reviews to accumulate. But now we don't have to wait so much. We know that our reviews are not gonna reset. And it'll just mean more indies can update more often than they are right now. The, the next thing, this is the cool, another cool thing, and we've seen some really good results from what I hear within the mastermind that we run is definitely do this. So implement this. This is way easier to now review apps. Now this is Apple showing you how to review the app, right, within the app store search, but there's also a, it's already released, there's a reviews API that makes it easier, and Apple wants you to start using that rather than pop-ups. So that is really helping apps get more reviews. Just a little quick little pop-up that says, hey, do you wanna review this app? And you can actually review the app within the app. This screenshot is showing you within the app store, but there's a new API that you can put into your app that allows users to review your app while they're still in the app. They don't have to go to the app store anymore, all right? So that is key. I would definitely ask your developer to put it in. The only things that you have to know from about that is it can only pop up three times. I think, I don't know what the parameters are, but it can only pop up three times within a given time frame. So you can't just like constantly nag users like you used to do. Apple doesn't want you to do that anymore. You could just pop this up and then you have three times, I think within a year or six months, I forget the time frame, so you'll have to look it up. But within that time, you can't do it any more than that, all right? But it is showing really good results so far. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Like I said, this presentation, beautiful presentation, has been put together by the guys from Fitcher. So check them out as well. And I'm going to link up the full iOS 11 presentation that they put together. I deleted most of the pot things, and I just wanted to highlight the very key important things to help you distill what's really important in iOS 11. So thank you to the Fitcher guys for putting this together and for letting me use it as well. And if you guys are interested, I am, the last thing I'll plug is, there's an event that I'm doing on September 13th and 14th. It is a phenomenal event, really meant for you to build meaningful connections, make those connections that are gonna help your business grow. It's helping my business grow. It's a format that I've been doing a lot with my close friends and close app friends. And I wanted to see if I can bring it up into a bigger scale because I love connecting. Everything I have is because of the connections, because of you listening, watching, and because of my guests and just all the different networks that all the people in my network have helped me really have a great business and I learn from so many different people as well. So be there if you wanna connect, if you wanna take your business to the next level and you wanna connect with really successful, other successful app entrepreneurs, it is the event for you. It's happening September 13th and 14th at mastersconnect.com. Literally, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the price for the ticket is the price I would have to pay for you for the event space, the food, everything else is literally our break-even price. You know, I lost money in our Vegas event. I'm hoping to break even here, but I'm not doing this for the money. I'm really doing it because one, legacy, and two, because I believe in connections so wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly that I'm willing to work so hard to put this event together for you. All right, hope to see you there. It is at mastersconnect.com. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.